Fog light mounting bosses are common in Kia and Hyundai bumpers. When one breaks, it can be hard to fix using normal methods. In this video, we will show you how to secure a broken mounting boss so it will be just as strong as before. These Kia fog light bosses have very thin plastic on the sides. Normally, we would nitrogen weld the boss back on, but this would be very difficult to do because the plastic here is so thin. So we will do the repair using an airless plastic welder and 2045 stainless steel wire mesh. First, cut two small rectangular pieces of stainless steel mesh. They should be roughly the same size. Take a screwdriver and bend the pieces of mesh at a 90 degree angle. Line up the mesh against the bottom of the boss. The mesh should be aligned so that the mesh is sticking out beside the boss and not pointing in toward the inside of the boss. Use an airless welder to heat the mesh and the plastic under the mesh. Use a screwdriver or other tool to push the mesh into the melted plastic. Repeat this process on the other side. Both sides should now have mesh attached. This mesh will be used to anchor the boss into the bumper. Sand the area where the boss will be placed to remove the paint, making sure not to sand off the position lines. Align your boss to the proper position. Use the airless welder to melt the mesh and the plastic under the mesh. Use a screwdriver to press the mesh into the melted plastic. Repeat this process on the other side. Melt some FiberFlex rod and place it on top of the mesh. Smooth it into the bumper. Continue laying down FiberFlex until the mesh is covered. It is best to work in small sections instead of using a lot of rod at one time. Cover the mesh on the other side using the same method. Just melt the FiberFlex and smooth it over the mesh into the plastic. Allow the fiber flex to cool naturally or force cool with compressed air. We pulled on this boss to test the strength. It's plenty strong to hold the fog light in position. Polyvance has been focused on plastic repair and refinishing since 1981. Because of this focus, we know our products very well. When our customers use our products and repair methods, they can feel comfortable knowing they are backed by the years of experience of our plastic repair experts. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this repair and check out our other videos for more plastic repair tutorials.